Today we are learning how to identify fractions. Now I'm assuming you know all about whole numbers. For example, if you were at a pizza party, you might see one pizza, two pizzas, or maybe three pizzas on a table. But by the end of the party, there might only be this much pizza left. There might only be one piece of pizza left over. When we talk about a piece of something, we do it by using fractions. Now a fraction has two parts. It has a top and a bottom. The top part tells us how many pieces we have. So in this pizza, we see we only have one piece left. We'll put a one on top of the line. The number on the bottom tells us the total number of pieces in the entire thing. So we could see a full pizza would have one, two, three, four pieces. So we take that number four and put it on the bottom. And there we have a fraction. We read this as one fourth. Now before we go on, there's also some vocab you should know about fractions. We call the number on top the numerator, and we call the number on bottom the denominator. Now let's practice some of these together. Let's identify what fraction of pizza I have here. Well remember fractions have two pieces, a top and a bottom. The number on top tells us how many pieces we have. Well how many pieces of pizza do we have here? You can see we only have one piece of pizza, so we'll put a one above the line. Now what is this number on top of the line called? The top number is called the numerator. Now, to find the number on the bottom, we have to count the total number of pieces in the entire whole. How many pieces would be in a full pizza? Well, you can see that it would take one, two, three of these slices to make a full pizza. So we'll write the number three down here. What is this bottom number called? The bottom number of a fraction is called the denominator. And there we have it. We could say that we have one third of a pizza. Here's another problem to practice with. Let's find out what fraction of this rectangle is shaded. Well, remember that a fraction has two pieces, and the number on top tells us how many pieces we have. So what number should I put on top of my line? We can see in this rectangle only one piece is shaded, so we'll put a 1 on top of the line. Now what is this number on top of the line called? The number on top is called the numerator. Next, the number on the bottom will be the total number of pieces in this entire rectangle. What number should I put down here? You could count that there's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces in this entire rectangle. So you'll write the number six on the bottom. What is this number on the bottom of a fraction called? This number is called the denominator. Now that we've written our fraction, we can say it. This is the fraction 1 -sixth. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What fraction of this rectangle is shaded? Well, this fraction will have two pieces. The number on top is how many pieces we have. Here, we only have one piece, so we'll put the number 1. The number on bottom is the total number of pieces in the rectangle. Here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pieces in the whole rectangle, so we put the number 8 on the bottom. Now we have our fraction, and we can read it as 1 eighth. And here's your last problem for today. What fraction of this circle is shaded? Well, our fraction will have two pieces. The number on top tells me how many pieces we have. Here, we only have one shaded piece so we put the number 1 on top. The number on the bottom tells us the total number of pieces in the circle. We can count that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces in this circle, so we'll put a 6 on the bottom of our fraction. Now that we've written our fraction, we can read it as 1 -sixth. Today, you learned how to identify a fraction.